Skadoosh! Welcome back to the channel, guys. Rivals of Ixalan Standard Showdown. I gotta give a shout out to one guy who almost is commenting on. He comments on every single video. It's been going on for at least a month now that I can think back. Maybe two months. Yuri. U R I. If it's not Yuri, it's pronounced Uri. One of the two. My dude, you're gonna take home one of these Rivals of Ixalan Standard Showdown packs just because you're always. You're, that's that's a good show of loyalty, my man. So I'm gonna shake this up, and you gotta message me. Um, you gotta send me uh, your email. Uh, on email, you gotta email me, my dude, at uh, mossbergswerve at gmail.com. When you comment on the video, I'll just freaking throw it down there. But man, you are awesome. I appreciate you a shit ton. So let's just give you, let's roll it up, see what happens. Twelve. Uh, up, oh, too high. Oh, too low. Boo, up, oh, too far. Oh, it, it, we can't even see it. Bam, twelve. So we got one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 is your pack. There you go. That's how we're going to do that. We'll put this aside, my dude. See what you get in a little minute. In a little bit. I am out of it today. I don't know what's going on. Might be something in the water. Nobody freaking knows. Uh, for those of you who don't know about these packs, these are given away at FNM when you show up and you do a good job, you win more. It's fun. Scrappy Scrounger. Now, I, I don't really recommend anyone going out of their way and purchasing these on ebay i did for uh, the channel but I, if you're going to purchase anything it's those hour of devastation ones that's where all the freaking total value is but those things jumped in price over the last couple weeks since i uh made um made a video or made like three videos recently about them and all the value that comes out of them they're no joke i paid five bucks at the time they're up to 11 bucks a pack now unbelievable anyway scrappy scrounger can't block for a deuce, exile another creature card from your graveyard. Return Scrap Heap Scrounger from your graveyard to the battlefield. Followed by a Shaper's Sanctuary. Whenever a creature you control becomes a target of a spell or ability an opponent controls, you may draw a card. Card drill, card drill ability. Card drill ability. Card draw ability is pretty freaking sweet. The thing I don't like about... Okay, I love uh, Re Rebecca Gay's lands are pretty sweet. You know, very colorful and brilliant. I'd rather see some Bob Ross lands than Rebecca Gay. What would you think about that? What if Bob Ross... I know he's dead, but... What if Bob Ross's artwork was put onto Magic the Gathering cards? How excited would that make you feel? Little happy trails everywhere? That'd be a good time, wouldn't it? All right. Here's what I don't like about uh, Standard Showdown Rivals of Ixalan. It's the very next card. It's an uncommon or a common foil. I am so wrong! Owned! Oh my god! Foot and mouth. Foot and mouth! Oh my god! Foot and mouth! What the hell? <laughs> Here's what I don't like about Rivals of Ixalan Standard Showdown and pulls an inspiring vantage. That shit is ridiculous. Come on now. Wow. So on that pack, we did all right. Um, well, we did real. We did. We did phenomenal. This alone, I don't even know what that's worth. Maybe ten bucks or something. Freaking nasty. With the Rebecca Gay, the Shaper Sanctuary, and Scrap Heap Scrounger, which I've seen a lot more play lately. Um, not too bad. Uh, no, really good. That was really good. Inspiring Vantage. Get out of here. Look at that Shiner. Holy shit. Freaking dope, delicious right there. Put that bad boy aside. No, I'm saying, no, I'm saying, no, I'm saying. All right. Wow. I can't believe that just happened. I'm over here running my freaking mouth, ass poodle style, and look what blows out the freaking water. Unbelievable. Approach of the second sun. If Approach of the Second Sun was cast from your hand and you've cast another spell named Approach of the Second Sun this game, you win the game. Otherwise, put Approach of the Second Sun into its owner's library, seventh from the top, and you gain seven life. Redunculous, don't you think? Oh, damn! What is going on? Did it, what, get the fuck? Ah! What is happening today? Wow, these rivals of Ixalan Standard Showdown freaking are making me splooge. Oh my god, I don't even know what's going on here. That's all you get. Oh my god. Jace, wow. We got the Jace, and we got that in the pack before. What What more do you really want out of these? These things are freaking loaded as well. Holy shit. 
I didn't think they were that loaded, though. They're not, no, this is just a lucky one. Because I remember opening these before, and they were nowhere near this. this. They were nowhere near this good. Jay's Cunning Castaway. It's a three-drop. Pretty dope card. Plus one. Whenever one or more creatures you control deal combat damage to a player this turn, draw a card, then discard a card. It's minus two. Create a 2-2 two -two blue illusion creature token with. When this creature becomes the target of a spell, sacrifice it. It's minus five. Create two tokens that are copies of Jay's Cunning Castaway, except they are not legendary. Pretty insane. When you get this card out, it's it's easy to win the game really quick. Especially if you got, um, what is it? Uh, like, not doubling season. Um, what is that card? Someone give me the, someone give me the name of the card. Um, doubling chant. No. Uh, something. Someone will name it. But it just doubles whatever token falls out, you know, or, or, or whatever. It's, it's insane. You combo that with Jay's cutting Castaway and Modern. Some guy did it against me um, last week on MTGO. Beat the livid shit out of my face. It was so bad, and I almost had him too. But if, if I would have had, if I had one more turn on him, I would have ended up winning. But it just no boy no. It just didn't. It just no. It just didn't happen. It didn't happen. I was salty. Went home a loser. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Oh, and something I didn't really mention that well. Um, when I did use that deck that I built, I did not have any rights of flames in it. Um, that was an addition. It was like a last minute addition that I threw in there on my own last, um, or not my on last night, but like a couple nights ago. I threw it in there. Oh, unbelievable. Um, I threw it in there as a ramp, but I'm stupid. Like I, I wanted to throw in Simeon Spirit Guide instead, but I'm like, ah, it's too expensive. So then I threw in the Rite of Flame, not realizing it's banned in modern like a dumbass, but yeah. Um, that deck, that's not the one I use on MTGO. I don't even use a ramp. I don't use Simeon Spirit Guide at MTGO. I don't use Rite of Flame because it's banned. But I, I do run the deck, and it, that's where I got the 10, of t uh, 10 out of 2. or uh, out of Yeah, 10 of 2 wins. 10 of 2 wins. That sounds really bad. I played 12 matches, won 10 of 2. But I just played again with it today, and I won 2 more, but I lost 2 more. So, I mean, what are you going to do? S another mythic, unbelievable, Sky Sovereign Council Flagship, legendary artifact vehicle. Flying whenever Sky Sovereign Council Flagship enters the battlefield or attacks, it deals three damage to target creature or player, and opponent controls crew for three. It is a 6-5. Nasty. Um, unbelievable. Wow, back-to-back -back mythics, Awakening Sun's Avatar, and Sky Sovereign Council Flagship. That's insane. When Awakening Sun's Avatar enters the battlefield, if you cast it from your hand, destroy all non-dinosaur creatures. These are looking really good. What is going on here? Oh, I, thought, I just saw Gideon for a second. Gideon's defeat. Wow. Talk about freaking nasty-ass packs. Um, these are doing pretty good. This is good. Two freaking mythics in one? I mean, come on now. And you're always guaranteed the Rebecca Gay. But because like they, they, they put them in every single pack, I mean, it kind of devalues it, in my opinion. But so far, we've pulled two islands, Rebecca Gay Islands, not bad. Islands typically go for a tiny bit more. Was it black and uh, blue? Usually go for a little bit more than the others. All right, Yuri, my dude. I hope we get a nasty freaking pool right now, man. This is all for you, pal. Cross your fingers. And who's ever opened Standard Showdown? And what the heck did you pull out of them? Um, or best pull out of them, or just whatever. Here we go. Fingers crossed. Yuri, here we go. Oh my god, what's it going to be? What's going to be? Merchant's Dock. That's a slow way to start. I'm sorry. You never know, though. All right, let's scoot these up. Scoot this up. Scoot this up. Merchant's Dock hand for four. Tap it. Tap X. Untapped artifacts you control. Look at the top X cards of your library. Put one of them into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. It is a one deuce. Nice, but that kind of sucks because it just got banned, though. Um, Rampaging Ferocidon. Menace. Players can't gain life. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield, Rampaging Ferocidon deals one damage to that creature's controller. And we got the full art Rebecca Gay land. That is gorgeous. The mountain. That almost looks like more of a Bob Ross painting. Almost. Bam! There you go, buddy! Nice little hit at the end. Gonti Lord of Luxuries. Shit no one wants to read, but it is long. We're gonna go ahead and read that sucker. It is four to bring out. It is a foil rare. Oh, my God. Death Touch. When Gonti Lord of Luxury enters the battlefield, look at the top four cards of target opponent's library. Exile one of them face down, then put the rest on the bottom of the library in any random, in a random order. You can't put it in any random order. That'd be weird. For as long as that card remains exiled, you may look at it. You may cast it. 
And you may spend mana as though it were mana of any type to cast it. It's a 2-3. Well, there you go, pal. I really appreciate you, man. All the freaking times you just jump on board and you're the first one to comment. Um, you just definitely deserve something pretty cool. And uh, I thought this was a good way to show my thank you to you, pal. So appreciate it, man. And thank you again for always hitting that like button. I know you do. Because when you're the first one to comment and there's one like and one view, I know it's you, pal. All right, man. I love you guys. As always, PLA.